Your CSU team able to come up with anything like a prince or DNA from a coffee cup or a cigarette butt? You know, if the shooter's laid in wait, sometimes it's going to be some... Hour three, we have maybe two shreds of evidence. That's it. We got no weapon, no suspect, no motive. It's day one and hour three, then why are you on binge number four? I mean, shouldn't you be out there looking for whoever tried to kill you and Todd instead? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were the chief of detectives. My mistake. We have uniforms canvassing the area. Forensics is going over all the evidence, the Vixen surgery. I've done all I can do tonight. Love it can handle the rest. Well, I should have guessed that's what the move was about. Working with Brody. Hmm, I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't be laying all of this on you. I, mean, I really know how to screw things up, huh? You probably want to disown me. Natalie, stop it. Sweetheart, you're my daughter. I love you. I always will love you. And I will always be there for you, regardless of the circumstances. Even when you find out I'm a cheating liar? Even then. <laughs> if that day ever comes, and I don't think it will. Mom, how can you say that? Because you made a mistake, Natalie. That's all you did. Unfortunately, a mistake in love, that's not simple. John doesn't see it that way. Well, of course he doesn't. He's hurting. He feels kind of lost, the same way you do. I think you have to give him time, darling. I think he may very well find his way back to you. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think he has found a way out, and that led right to Kelly Kramer. Why can't I have a couple beers by myself? Why does it have to be that uh, I'm in a mood? Well, it's just my experience if a person is having a couple of beers alone in a dark, empty bar, it's a sign that uh, he's in a mood or that there's a problem. Do you have a problem? Oh, yeah, I got a big problem. Working with Levitt, isn't it? Oh, okay, so it doesn't bother you that uh, you have to work side by side with a man who went behind your back, slept with your fiance, got her pregnant. That's cool with you? No. Not cool, but it would appear I'm handling it. This is how you're handling it? Well, you know, you could, um, you could join me and then I wouldn't be drinking alone, right? But as far as Levitt goes, I don't care about him. I go to work, I clock my hours, I go home, that's it. So you haven't seen Brody outside of work then? Avoid him forever, John. I'm not avoiding him. All right, what would you say to him if you did run into him? Who knows? Who cares? You do. Come on. There's a whole lot rattling around in that brain of yours. What do you want? Let's go. We'll come. What do you want? You want some drama? Yeah. You want me to um, slap him around a bit for uh, for sleeping with Natalie, for uh, for claiming to be my friend, and then lying to my face? Is that it? All right, fine. I'll tell you what. I'll uh, I'll kick his ass from here to Cherryvale. Here's your chance. I wish you got better coverage in St. Blaze's, Balsam. Come home soon, okay? I miss you. Um, and when you get back, we need to talk about Shane. I won't get into it, but some trouble at school and he got suspended he's okay he's not hurt or anything but um, I don't know I just think he needs some guidance from his dad right now and who knows maybe it'll all blow over by the time you get back this is lame Jack yeah we should go do something we are doing something we're waiting for Shane he's not gonna show you just don't want him to show what's the matter you afraid to play seven minutes in the closet with Wheezy Afraid you're gonna catch the wheeze? You were so not getting anything. Showtime! Oh, hey, Jack, it's your sister. If Beth won't come through for us, maybe she will. Hey, Shane, glad you can make it. Hey, come on in.
damn it. Oh, let me guess, Jack's not answering. Now this is so like Jack to disappear at a time like this, and now I'm gonna have to go find him, great. Wait, I, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up sooner or later, Star. Yeah, hours from now, or maybe tomorrow, but he needs to be here now, just in case, I don't know, maybe I'll go home and see if he's there. Whoa, hold on, don't you wanna stay here? I mean, in case something happens with your dad? Like what? I don't know, I, I just mean if you're not here and then and, and something happens. James, my dad is going to be okay. <sighs> Come on, Star. I saw how you were with Danny. How you took over and you kept her calm while she was losing it. Look, hey, I, I, I know you feel like you have to be strong for your family. I get it. I get it. But you don't have to be strong for me. Let me be strong for you. closed. I tried your cell. And? My guys are finished with the canvas. Didn't find a whole lot out there, but there'll be a report on your desk in the morning. Thank you, Officer Lovett. Is that it? Forensics has a lot to sift through, but they might not be ready with the prelim by tomorrow morning. If Manning dies on the table... I know what that means. Then they better get ready. The lab's backed up and Natalie's off tonight. Then I suggest you get home to her and your kid. The kid has a name. It's Liam. Fine. Whatever. Not whatever, John. It's Liam. The name you and Natalie chose for him, together. <sighs> Terrific. I stand corrected, but we're not together anymore. That was your choice. Yeah, you had nothing to do with that, did you? What's that supposed to mean? Forget it. No, no, I want to hear this. It sounds like you have something you want to say to me, so why don't you be a man and say it? You wanna help me polish it off? Don't make me eat it all by myself, cause you know I will. Shane? Hello? Brad, what are you, you guys What's doing up, here? What's up, Shane? Aren't you happy to see us? Brad and Beth just showed up here. There's nothing to do at my house. Me neither. So, uh, good thing Jack always brings the party. So, what, are we gonna play Z-Box or something? Z-Box. Right, fun with thumbs. I'm just taking a quick break for a minute. We found something better to do. Here, have one of these. Thanks, I'm okay. Come on, we all had one. You'll like it. I'm not really supposed to take anything unless my doctor says it's okay. It could, like, interfere, you know? Right, with your dorky inhaler. Hey, cut it out. Don't listen to him, Shane. You're not a dork. And you don't need to take pills to prove you're cool. Right, Brad? Right. You can prove it with Beth instead. Uh, you must think that I am crazy. <laughs> Why would I think you're crazy? for being so upset about my dad. I mean, you don't have to pretend for me either, James. I know what you probably think of him by now. Everybody hates him. He's horrible to anyone he's not related to. And sometimes he's even worse to the people that he is. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> but there's... There's a good side to him. A really good side. And he doesn't show it to everyone. Mostly just his kids, but it's there. The side that jumps on beds and starts food fights and asks us for relationship advice and gives us nicknames. Nicknames? What's your nickname? I have two of them. Two? Shorty and a great one. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. He loves me. But I love him. No matter what he does, he'll always be my dad. And I'll never stop loving him. But James, I hope that you understand that. If you want to know the truth, Star, I don't. 
my dad didn't have a good side. He was just bad through and through. But I wish I had what you have. I do, I really do. And as long as your dad holds onto his good side, I'll never tell you to let him go. It's no telling what